Hello and welcome back to the channel. Brennan here. In this video, I wanted to just talk a little bit about NoCodeDB, which is a open source alternative to Airtable. And, you know, I'm a big fan of Airtable. I use it a lot for myself and for my client projects, whether I'm, you know, helping them be organized or myself, uh, whether I'm scraping data or just, you know, helping, you know, myself be organized. And, you know, I use Airtable a lot and, you know, I had a paid plan for a while, uh, but I was looking for, you know, just a way to self-host my own stuff. So uh, the big benefit of something like NoCodeDB is that while they do offer a SaaS version that you can come and check out, um, you know, they have a generous free plan that you get a thousand records per base and you can have unlimited bases. Um, they do have a self-hosted plan. So unlike Airtable, where you can't self-host it, no code DB, you can self-host. So you can run it locally. You can run it on a yes that you host yourself. So you can basically, you know, maintain sort of control over your own infrastructure. So I just wanted to kind of show you how that works. And, you know, maybe it's a, an alternative for you or for your clients to sort of run your own infrastructure, have your own hosting for your own sheets, your own um, sort of relational databases, you know, that are not like just regular um, spreadsheets. So just wanted to show you how that works and also how I'm using that within Bricks Builder. So um, at the end, I'll show you kind of how that I'm using that within the, the new Bricks Builder API to bring in just thousands of records into Bricks Builder. Um, so I'm using NoCodeDB to bring in um, data, not in the WordPress database, but just directly from NoCodeDB into the API here. And we have thousands of records uh, on the map uh, we're authenticated into the spreadsheet here and we can see we have some some stuff on the map here so i'll show you how that works so basically no code db you could again you can um, run directly through their SaaS version um, and you know it's a little bit cheaper than Airtable. it's not quite as feature rich you don't get like the automation feature you know it doesn't have like ai that built into Airtable. Um, but again you can self-host this so um, I'm running this on Coolify. I'm a big fan of Coolify. I've been running this for a little over a year now. I have a bunch of different services on Coolify, like N8N and a couple of different CMS like Directus and Strappy, Ghost. Um, so big fan of Coolify. And the other cool thing is that I, I can just come in here and one click install something like NoCodeDB. And so I can, you know, I have several different instances of NoCodeDB running on here. And for this video, I was able to just, you know, one click install another demo um, instance of NoCodeDB. So that's what I did here. Um, and you can see I've got a, a, um, just a blank sort of install of uh, NoCodeDB here. And I've imported uh, just a, a big table with 5,000 uh, records of hotels throughout the southwest of the U.S., um, and it was just as easy as importing a CSV, just like you would an Airtable. And it's got, um, you know, a bunch of different fields in here. I've got my latitude and longitude, and that's how I'm able to query loop and get that data into the map field in Bricks Builder. So, you know, if you've used Airtable before, um, it, you know, NoCodeDB is going to be very familiar to you. So, you know, you can come over here and, and add it pretty much any of those fields that you're familiar with in Airtable. It's a nice, clean UI. Um, very, very familiar if you've used Airtable. So you've got your, you know, your text fields, you've got numbers and fields, you've got attachments, so you can upload files as well. And, you know, uh, benefit, you know, it's creating a database here so I can upload actual files into the here. So uh, you've got checkboxes and all that stuff, dates, and of course all your, you know, modified by and created time and all that stuff that you're used to uh, and of course your your lookup fields so like your relational fields um, so we have one of those here so this is like looking up an actual linked field so if you have multiple tables within your no code db just like an air table if you have multiple tables uh, it can look up i just you know have a couple sample ones that I made it here, but if you have multiple cities in here, right? If you have another city in Texas, you can link it up here and then link it to, uh, you know, 
multiple records here, right? So say that one's there and that, that hotel is there as well. So you can start linking your tables together just like you would in Airtable. So um, very powerful stuff in, uh, in NoCo DB. So it just, it gives you a nice UI for that type of relational database, just like you would expect in Airtable. So again, you can uh, just start making new tables. You can of course make new bases as you would, um, all that good stuff. So anyway, that's basically what I wanted to show you with no code DB. It's fairly simple, straightforward stuff. Um, but just uh, another option besides Airtable. But um, the cool, the cool thing again is that I can get this data into uh, the uh, new query builder with Bricks. So I'll show you how that works now. Um, and so if I come to our demo base here, I have this option here up at the top to I can switch between the data view and the sort of the detail developer uh, view here. I can switch and move my fields around check off what I want to see, get a more detailed view through the developer view. So I can see the relations between tables. I can look at webhook data if I had that set up, right? And I can look at the API snippet. So this is the bread and butter of what we want to get set up in our API calls. So this is saying, um, this is a get request, and this is the, uh, URL endpoint for that particular view of our table. So this is our base URL, and this is the table here. This is the unique table record. Um, and then we have some URL parameters. So we have an offset of zero, that's for pagination. And then we have a limit of 25 records. You can adjust that. Um, and then we have our, the view ID if you had multiple views you would you could adjust that there as well and then we have our header uh, authentication this is for your api key header type and then you have the key name and then the key value would be the api token right and the you just create your api token by going into your no code db and going into tokens and just creating a token and you can copy that token and then basically you just come into the builder and I'll just go ahead and leave this. Uh, maybe we can pull this up again here. So we have our, remember we have our header type and then we have our XC token is the header or the key name. And then we have the key value is the API token. So if we go back into our builder and then we go into our API settings. And so we have that yeah, URL that we posted. So that's our get request. And you can see we have get here. And then we have the authorization, right? So we have the authorization type is the API key. And then the API key, where's that key gonna go? It's gonna go in the header. And then we have the key name is the XC token, right? So that is lining up with the header. XC token is the name of the token. And then the key value is just that token that we generated back in um, NoCodeDB. And once that's passed in, you can fetch your value and you'll see that your, uh, you get your re request successful. That means you're successfully authenticated. And then um, the only thing you need to do is make sure when you first, uh, when you first get your data back, um, you, you're, you get the full response path and you get this list value. And you, you can see I'm getting this full thousand records back. That's the full response path or the full whatever list of uh, values back. Uh, and so we, we need to specify that we, um, we're we getting the full array and then the list of objects back. So if, if we want to just get the objects back, uh, we, we can specify just typing list. And you can see then we just get that list uh, of objects back without that array. So if we fetch that, <clears throat> And by the way, um, pagination, I can't seem to get to work right now as of the 2.1 beta with Bricks Builder. Um, normally you would get an offset value back from the API. You can see down here, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, uh, you get, um, or with no code DB actually, you get uh, this with, with Airtable, you get an offset key back. With Airtable, you get a simple pagination uh, page number and page size, I can't seem to get pagination to work with it. I don't know what it is yet. 
uh, maybe it's maybe it's not working yet. Maybe it's user error. Maybe I'm a noob. Anyway, you get it to work yet. In any case, now we have our list of items here, which means now we can go to our um, query loop here, and I'm just passing in the latitude key and the longitude key, and that is passing all the different values here. And if I Fresh this on the front end. And if I zoom out, we, we're only getting a thousand. We're not getting all 5,000 because we're not getting pagination correctly. But if I click on any of these, we, were, we can zoom in and we're getting the map clusters. Uh, so you, know, you can click on any of those and it'll zoom in to the, to the rest of them. So anyway, that is how you get the pagination working. So the, this is the beauty of sort of modern web design where your front end and back end are independent, where you're not uh, reliant necessarily on the WordPress database. You can use APIs to render data on your front end uh, and use the API connection to get that data um, with your front end of choice. So uh, it's nice to see Bricks support API connections and be able to get that data using whatever API you want. In this case, no code DB. If you want to use Airtable, very similar process. Um, you know, you have uh, sort of endless possibilities now, now that you can use API connections to get through this. Again, uh, again, I can't get pagination to work. If you are able to do that, please let me know. Um, and if you there are other things that interest you when it comes to APIs, please let me know. If you have uh, things that, what else are you working on? I would love to hear what interests you and what things you guys are working on. Let me know down in the comments. Um, yeah. Keep me posted. Love to hear what you guys are working on. See you guys in the next one. Hope you found this useful. See you guys.